Hey what's up everybody, James here and I'm back with another video review for you. So today I'm doing another Dark of the Moon review and finally I'm I'm doing a review of a figure I've always wanted to do. Um I'm after just getting him today, he's he is one hundred percent awesome. Literally superb. That's all I can I have to describe this guy as. So today I'm doing a review of Transformers Dark of the Moon Deluxe Sideswipe. One word, cool. No, seriously, this guy rocks. Um, when do we get rid of the mech tech for a second? And just look at this guy, because the detail, the color scheme, everything on this guy is just awesome. I mean, literally, this guy is my number one favorite, favorite Dark of the Moon figure yet. But as well as top spin that is, um, I just happen to have Revenge of the Fallen sideswipe with me. You know, the detail on them is even evenly distributed, if you could say something like that. But this guy is way cooler than this guy because although Dark, although Revenge of the Fallen is a bit is slightly taller, Dark of the Moon has way 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 more detail trust me this guy is just superb let's pin it briefly I mean like look at all this you know everything is just awesome I mean like you can see inside there you know the very well detailed seats in fact here's the very cool little bit if you take this little bit which is going to be in robot mode just take it up you could actually use that as a door if you wanted you know a fancy looking door but I'm not sure if you notice but just in there is actually a little steering wheel how cool um, bad part it doesn't move or anything it's just molded into place but that I think is a superb detail this thumbs up Hasbro superb job um, he rolls very good and stuff like that. Um, when we get on robot mode, by the way, the transformation for this guy isn't exactly the same as this guy. It seems a little different, you know. It's not what I first imagined it to be. But moving on, um, first off, what you want to do is, uh, well, this is my version of it. Anyway, you can do it whatever way you want. But firstly, you want to take the bonnet and then fold it back. You know, just brief like that, briefly like that. Take these little panels out and fold them up. And fold them up like that. Then take the wheels underneath this and fold them around. So take them out and fold them around. Okay. Go to the back and split it in half. Well, split into the sections, and then fold the little um, exhausts up and fold it up uh, like that. Like that they're easy. Okay. Then go to the legs here. Fold this little section out. Fold it all the way down. Fold it back up. Fold. Uh, no, no, no. Sorry. Fold this. Fold it out. Fold this back and fold this all the way down again. Then this little bit here, you can you can have it at the back or at the front. Either way, I'm gonna keep it at the front for this video for this time. Then in here, there's a little heel. You're gonna rotate it all the way around to there. Okay. So then the same again. Fold this bit out and fold it all the way down like that. Fold, push this back. Fold the leg down. Fold this for fold the foot down and fold this forward. Then pull out the heel like that. Uh, just fix it up. Then take take this little bit and fold it forward until you see Sideswipe's head. Then fold this if you can. Sorry, fold these little back panels back. Fold this uh, section forward like this. Then at the very bottom of this, there's going to be a little tab that's going to peg into place here. Uh, like that okay then fold these little back panels back just for the time being fold out sideswipes hands 
like so, uh, like that. After that, fix them up. Then go to the back. See these back panels? I don't actually have a clue what to do with them. Um, I could keep them folding it, folded in like this, but then it doesn't resemble, you know, the back panels from Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe. So I would intend that you would sort of, sorry, fold them out ever so slightly like this. Just very briefly, you know, just keep them out ever so slightly, and that would then, you know, sort of do the job for you, if you know what I mean. But, um,. Then, basically, after sort of fixing them up after that, um, by the way, in the legs, you can fold this little section back like this, the legs back like this, to give it like a chicken leg to effect. Sorry if that sounds weird, but it's what it is. Um, I prefer not to, and I just prefer to keep the legs straight, like that. But apart from that, there is Dark of the Moon Sideswipe in robot mode. Whoa! is the word. Whoa. This guy is just awesome. Absolutely awesome. In terms of detail, he is way, way better than than Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe. One tiny little thing I think they sort of, Hasbro sort of missed out on, was that he's like a, well, I'm not sure if you know this from the quality of the camera here, but He's like a creamy, a very light creamy white sort of color, creamy color, sorry. But um, whereas Revenge of the Fallen Sideswipe is silver, you know that's the only detail I think they sort of missed out on. But apart from that, superb. His swords are still there, which is a good thing because because all of the Mac Tech. Um, because all of the Transformers from the Dark of the Moon range have mech tech weapons instead of, you know, built-in weapons. So, this is the good side. Sorry if you hear noises in the background, it's family and stuff like that. But, here are the blades, and having said that, you know, the blades aren't just the same as, you know, Revenge of the Fallen. Small downside to it, yes. Is it, is it a major default that you would not want to buy this figure for? No, this guy rocks, and that's playing it very, very briefly. Um, but you know, you can put his blades any way you want. Um, you know, one small problem is is that they get in the way a little bit with his arms. Um, you know, but um, let's move on to articulation as soon as I get this blade back in. There we go. All right, all you need to do. Right, for articulation, articulation, his head can go side to side, it can go 360, it can go up and down, but not a lot. Well, it actually can, a little bit, okay. The arms can go forward and back, and up and down, at the, at, as if like a shoulder, and out, bend at the elbow, uh, like that, then it rotates 360 on this little joint here. Well, it rotates anyway, then the hand pivots in and out. Uh, no waist articulation, but the legs can go forward and back, in and out, rotate here, bend here, uh, sorry, it bends here, and then at the knee, it bends, you know, actually all the way forward and back. Okay, so then it then it doesn't pivot back and forth, but the front of the foot pivots up and down, and the side of the foot actually pivots in and out. So, good amount of um, excuse me, um, sorry about that. Um, good amount of articulation, um, average amount, um, on that note. But if we actually go back to his mech tech weapon, this little thing, for side swipe, this is a huge, huge gun. I mean, like. This thing is big, big, you know. But as all mech tech weapons do, they always come with a hidden feature. So to push back on this little thing, and there is a hidden blade. That if you then, that if you let go of this, it folds back in. It seems to be that with Voyager and 
with it seems to be with Voyager Optimus and Voyager Megatron that they're the only ones that their mech tech weapons actually have a mechanism that allows them to lock into place. Whereas with sorry, Dark of the Moon Deluxes, they don't they can't lock into place. But however, the blade actually has some nice Cybertronian symbols on it right there. Not sure if you can notice it, but they are very nicely detailed on that note. Um so Pretty cool. Um, by the way, you can stick it into one, either one of Sideswipe's hands. Um, but as I said, for Sideswipe, this is a huge gun. If it was me, it would be like me trying to hold a tank. That's a little bit too weird. Anyway, um, but I mean, like, this is a huge, huge gun, like, you know. Um, but, you know. Uh, by the way, there is a little feature that you could use. Um, there are little these little Mac Tech ports here, one here and on each on either side of these three things, and here, um, as you saw at the start of the review. So you could just keep his weapon in his back. Sorry, sorry. Um, uh, you could keep his Mac Tech in his back like that. But it just wouldn't feel right for me, so put this aside again. Um, time for my verdict and views on it. Um, ten pound in the UK again. Um, I, I'm sure ten dollars in the US. Do I recommend this figure? Yes. Is he better than Revenge of the Fallen? Possibly. Um, Overall, a superb figure, a solid 9.9 .9 out of 10. Um, one or two slight, slight problems. Um, but overall, you will have no issues with this. Unless, you're a, unless you have major problems since you're a Sideswipe, since you're not a Sideswipe fan. But overall, superb figure, 10 out... Okay, I'm going to give him a 10 out of 10 instead, because I was lying before. Um, there are a few problems, as I said, but um, this guy, for me, is just awesome. You know, that's the only thing. Um, there is a little thing you could do. You could fold the heel back up um, into this section and fold this bit all the way back. And you could use the, p the pure wheel as, like, a, you know, wheel in the heel, or in this case, wheel as the foot sort of thing. But, um, yeah, that's sort of about it. Um, that's the side swipe review done. By the way, P... Be prepared for many more Dark of the Moon reviews, including Roadbuster. And it's about time I got this guy. Starscream. Oh yeah, I got Starscream. In your face. Oh yeah, I got Starscream. Beat that. Okay, this is Night Slash 2020 Junior. Subscribe to my channel for videos more. Like me on Facebook by searching for James Lenahan. And subscribe to my now new second channel um, by searching for Transformer James Idiot. Otherwise, if you can't find it, just click on the comment. Just click on my channel below in the con in the link section of my channel. Okay, then see you around.